exercise program for you if you haven't been working out a whole lot lately. It doesn't need a lot of space or equipment. All you need is a little bit of floor space and a bench or a chair. It's simple, it's quick, and it's pretty efficient. So you're going to start with squats. You're going to turn sideways to your bench, feet shoulder width apart, line them up on an imaginary line, and sit right back to your bench. We're going to do 10 reps of each exercise. So sitting in through those heels, five more. Keep those core muscles, abdominal muscles engaged. Two more. Good, we're gonna come down to the floor into your push-ups. So onto your knees, tuck your tailbone down and under. Breathe out on the way up. So in on the way down, out on the way up. That's four, five, we're over halfway. Keep your head in line with your spine. Good, chest comes to the floor, not your head. And up to your feet. Into your stationary lunges, one foot in front of the other. Keep your feet about shoulder width apart. Chest stays up nice and tall. Back knee drops straight down. Good, five more on that leg. <clears throat> Weights in your front heel. Two more. And we're gonna switch legs. So again, weight always stays in that front heel. Try and keep that front knee over your heel or midfoot. Straight down and up. Make sure that stance isn't too wide on those feet. Good. Five more. Chest stays up nice and tall. And have a seat on your bench. All right. Hands. We're going to roll them forward slightly. Knees slightly bent. Elbows gently draw together, drop your bum straight down that bench. So you're looking forward, breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. You're always exhaling on your exertion. Three more, good squeeze with those triceps, extend those arms. Beautiful. Come on down onto your bum. So feet together, knees together, draw one knee into your chest. Tuck that tailbone up and under. These are nice and slow. So just keep them nice and controlled. We haven't come to the floor yet. That's five. We're trying to center that left knee. Your support leg should be in line with your nose. Right down the middle of your body. Good. This is the one exercise I'm going to give you 20 reps of if you're able to do the 20. <clears throat> so you're lifting from your bum. Good, that should be about 15. We're gonna finish those off. And let's switch legs, feet together, knees together. Again, draw that knee into your chest. Think of someone pinching that bum cheek. So even on the way down, it still stays nice and tight. So you're lifting with your glutes, your bum muscles, not your back. And that knee, that top knee, that free leg stays nice and locked down to your chest. So again, it's a leg lock bridge. 10 more, if it's burning in your quads, you need to move your foot out a little bit from your bum. Your feet are just a little too squashed into your body. Good, should feel it in the bum and the hamstrings. Let's take two more. And your final one, you're gonna roll it over onto your plank. Here we go, on your elbows and your knees. It's one minute, tuck that tailbone under. Heads in line with your spine. You can use a mat for your knees on this one. Tuck your tummy under so if you're on hardwood floor, make sure you protect those knees. Head stays in line with your spine. There's 15 seconds down already. So you just want to make sure you don't sag. If a minute is too long to begin with, hold it for as long as you can, stop the watch, and then come back up. Work towards a minute, but aim for at least 20 to 30 seconds on your knees to begin with. You've got 25 seconds to go. Again, head stays in line with your spine. So you're just trying to do the best you can with this circuit. You can pause the video anytime you need to to take a longer break. Your overall goal is to run these exercises together as quick as you can. So the exercises themselves stay slow and controlled. Maybe not slow, but controlled. Three seconds, two, one, but we're trying to get your recovery time down. So going through the circuit level two is down into your squats. If you don't need the bench, don't use it. So tummy in, sit back on those heels. 
We're going to take five more of those. Push through the legs. You're not standing up with your upper body. You're standing up with your legs. One more. Good. On to the bench. Here's version number two of the push-ups. Once you get strong on the floor, on your knees, and you can do ten with your chest all the way to the floor, come on up onto a bench. Four more. Breathing in on the way down. Breathe out on the way up. Beautiful. Come on up to front lunges. So you're stepping forward. Landing in the heel each time. We're going to do 10 on each leg. So 20 total. Chest stays up nice and tall. You're landing in your heel. Your upper body is just perched on top of your lower body. It's the lower body that's working. You're over halfway. Eight more of these. So make sure you're breathing. Four more. We're trying to bring that back knee as low to the floor as we can. Two more. Beautiful. Come on over to your bench. Again, fingertips forward. We're going to go straight legs this time. Draw those elbows together. Bend and push. So bum still stays nice and close to that bench. Full extension through those triceps. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And come on down to the floor. Feet together, knees together. Bring that knee into your chest, tucking that tailbone up and under. Good. So nice and slow. That's five. Six. Seven. You never want to jerk this one or your hamstrings will freak out. So nice and slow. Again, it's like someone pinching that bum cheek. Centering that knee. Good. We've got five more. If it starts to cramp at any time, you can always put that other foot down. Three more. Two. And other side. Again, locking that knee down into your chest. We're aiming for 20. Shoulders down. You're pushing through your heels. So it's all happening from the underside of your body, not from the top. Good. Just nice and slow. These muscles are so important in stabilizing your pelvis and creating power in your lower body. So as much as it seems like a simple exercise, it's a really important exercise. Good. Keep breathing. I believe we have five more left, but I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not sure. But you're tough. So one more and finish it off. All right. Into that plank. On your bench. Onto your feet. Relax between your shoulder blades. Head stays in line with your spine. So this is a version up. Instead of going on your feet and your hands on your elbows on the floor, this is a bit of a step in between. So your level three of this would be right down onto the floor with your elbows and your toes supporting you from the floor. So again, head stays in line with your spine. Make sure it doesn't look like a suspension bridge. Nice and tight. So it's a tabletop or a plank, it stays nice and straight like a plank of wood. Head is in line with your spine, which is in line with your tailbone. Tailbone, upper back, head in the nice straight line. You're over halfway, just make sure you don't hold your breath. Think happy thoughts, we're almost done your workout. Breathing, we are going to go for 10 more seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Walk your feet in. You can do one more set. Push through it. Ten of each exercise. You're a rock star. Good luck with that.